In this short video I'm just going to show you the basic features of the Tarsia software package which is a really useful tool which will enable you to create kind of tabletop activities, matching tasks from a very basic level, matching fractions, percentages up to uh, A-level topics and beyond. So when you open the Tarsia software, if you click on File you'll be you have the option of creating a new task so I'm, I haven't got the time to explore all of these templates at the moment but I'm just going to show you how to begin to create a standard triangular jigsaw so if I click on that icon there then click on OK you could see I'm taken to this editing panel now the first thing to highlight here are these tabs down the bottom input table output and solution now if input is highlighted that enables us to begin to insert um, some numbers or whatever information we want to put into these two boxes there's one there and there's one there which will enable us to create our first matching pair and if we look on the right hand side we can see a series of numbers and if we click on number two that then moves us on to the second matching pair we'll just go back to number one for the moment if we, go, if we look at this second tab that says table that shows us how the information we have inserted is being presented and it shows that information in a tabulated format so and that enables us to keep a check on our on our progress in making up the puzzle if I click on output it actually shows us the two sheets that we can use to um, uh, print off uh, to then uh, laminate and cut up and use as the uh, as the basis for the puzzle and then on the solution tab that will show us the completed um, solution so we just go back to input and I'll just show you the basics of inserting some numbers um, and begin to create some matching pairs so say we wanted to make a simple task that uh, prompted students to practice matching percentages and fractions we might want to put in 20% um, there and then here we'd need to match that with one fifth so um, you've got different options here um, standard presentation and content if you just click on presentation you'll see here you've got all sorts of options to create different kinds of mathematical symbols and f would be useful in representing formulae um, for now I'm just going to click on uh, that icon there which will enable me to insert a full size fraction so if I just click there I just want to put one there and then five there to create one fifth so if I want to make the second matching pair just click on number two put in 60 percent just go back to the fraction option there and then we want whoops three fifths there so if we just click on the table you can see um, our progress in making uh, making the puzzle if we just click on output you can see that the fractions and the percentages are being um, spaced at random around those uh, around that template and then if we look at the solution you can see that's where um, you can see that the answers are being placed in the correct matching pairs. I'll just show you quickly how to color code and change the font style. Um, color coding the puzzles can make them a lot easier for students. So if we wanted to color code all the percentages, um, we just highlight the uh, percentage. Go to Style, Other, and you'll see you've got an option there to to change the font style if you want we'll change it to Comic Sans and then here you can just choose a colour so just click on OK then if we wanted to colour the um, fractions green we just click on style other you'll see it, it remembers the, the font style we just need to change that to green OK we'll just do that we'll just do the same um, the first pair so that was 20% so go to style other and we're going to color those orange aren't we the percentages and then 
the fifth of that and then change that to green. So if we just click on the table format there you can see um, we've got um, the color coding sorted and you can see that also appears on the uh, on the output. When you want to print out the uh, uh, the sheets, um, if you want to print these out, you'll see that you've got um, to make this simple tr uh, triangular puzzle. You've got two sheets there. Just click on the on the print option there. So those are just the very basic features of how to create a Tarsia puzzle. Uh, as as you saw um, in the video, there are lots of different ways in which you can insert all sorts of mathematical symbols uh, and formulae to make much higher level tasks. But um, I hope this useful. I hope this video has been useful to you in just showing the the very basic features of how to get started with Tarsia.